hello and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching today I just want to take a quick moment to thank all of you who wished me good luck on my channel and who watched the videos and liked them thank you so much it really means a lot to me and I'm sending positive vibes your way now let's get started with the task at hand which is going to be a really hard one for me because I am a total night owl I'm trying to transition into a morning person and let me tell you one thing. If I do something in front of you, this is gonna be the hardest one because I make excuses not to go to bed. I'll say to myself, okay, well let me make a tea to just relax and start reading and I see how out of, out of order my teas are so I just decide that I'm just gonna organize all of my cabinets. Just not to go to bed. Is that ridiculous? Or I'll say, okay, I'm gonna take a shower so I can save that time in the morning and I can sleep a little extra. I think, okay, well, since I'm gonna take a shower now, I should probably work out. And three hours later, still not in bed. Or I'll be catching up on my DVR and I think, huh, one more episode. They're shorter without commercials. So I have, I have a little more time. An entire season later, I'm so mad at myself because I'm still not in bed. I know, ridiculous, right? Please let me know if you're like that too so I don't feel like I'm the only crazy wacko one. <laughs> I have come up with six steps to help me to get started on going to bed early. And here they are. The first step, set an alarm for about an hour before you go to bed. So you can either get your clothes ready for the next day. If you like to read before bed, you have that hour to read and to drink some tea. Something really pleasant that I enjoy doing before bed. Step two, set another alarm for the time you're really supposed to be in bed. Turn off your TV, turn off your phone, turn off the lights. And that way your mind can start to go to sleep. Step number three, set your clock at the real time. Not those 10 minutes that you give yourself to snooze. Set it for the real time. Step number four, don't snooze. Just get up, it's easier that way. Step number five, give yourself something to look forward to in the morning. That way you're not in a bad mood or you know angry that you have to wake up. Being able to prepare a delicious breakfast for yourself. It could also be 20 minutes of meditation. It could be a 30 minute workout. Whatever it is that will keep you looking forward to waking up, do it. Step number six, stick to it. That way your body gets used to it and it's not so difficult anymore. And I know this is easier said than done, but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try it in front of you. Well, not in front of you. I'll keep you guys posted maybe monthly until I'm 100% a morning person and I'll, and I'll let you know how my life has changed, if any, what positive things have come from it. Just remember that time is precious and it's a gift and we don't know how much time we have so let's make the best of it. Like a wise man once said, YOLO! And that's it for today guys. If you're like me and you want to get started as well, I wish you the best of luck and I hope you wish me the best of luck because this is really going to be difficult for me. This is years and years of years of this bad habit that I'm going to break. I know I can do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.